Today, my dudes, we are going to be testing out all three of the new Minecraft mobs for the 2023 Minecraft mob vote to see which mob we are going to vote for. So let's get started. Also, before we get started, if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to like, comment, and do subscribe. I really appreciate that. And ring that little bell. All right, here we are. Let's start it off with the first mob that was released, and that is the crab. Now, I'm in a mangrove swamp, and this is where they're supposed to generate in this data pack. There's one down there. I see one. So we're going to be checking out this crab really quick here. So as we've been told, um, crabs will generate inside the mangrove swamp. There he is. Look at the boy. Oh, they did a good job at making you. Look at that. That's awesome. His eyes look great. He's got the big claw on his hand. He's got the baby claw on the left. All right, I'm going to go spawn one out on the beach so we can take a look at him. All right, so I got my spawn egg here. Here we go. Oh, there's one over there too. Look at that. And he's walking sideways. That's so cool. Hold on. I'm going to spawn a bunch down. But yeah, as you can see, they're a pretty cool looking mob. So basically when you hit the crab, it should drop this here. This is the claw. Now the claw, it's supposed to work. As you can see, I'm like, I can like aim at things from a distance. Now what you're supposed to be able to do is put a block in your off hand and the claw in your hand and right click, but I don't think it's working yet. I'm not sure what's going on with that. But yeah, you kind of get the idea. The claw is basically gonna make you place blocks farther away. That being said, like if I'm this high up and, and you can see I can target blocks down there, I don't think we're going to be able to place blocks that far, but maybe like, I don't know, maybe like this distance, like uh, just like an extra three or four blocks compared to our regular reach, like right now. So here's our regular reach, like right here. And then when we go up, that's like, I think four blocks or so. And then, uh, yeah, when we got the crab, <laughs> we got the crab claw, you could definitely go a little bit farther, but I don't think it's going to be that crazy, but definitely a pretty cool add on. I wish it worked so I could actually show you guys it working, but still pretty cool. And yeah, that is the crab, my dudes. Coming up next is our scared boy, the armadillo. Are you going to wake up? Oh, there he is. He just came out of his shell. Like he probably doesn't have any noises, but yeah, he gets pretty scared as we've seen. So yeah, there is the armadillo. God damn, he looks good. He's like, I don't know, like, like an, he looks like an ant eater. Or something. I don't even know. Like, it's so weird looking. It's, it's kind of dope though. That's, that's, that's pretty cool. Look at that tail on him. Uh, but yeah, so the armadillo is pretty cool. As we know, he does spawn naturally inside of savanna biome. As we can see here, we are in the savanna biome, and he's supposed to drop scoot. Um, let's just try punching him. Uh, okay, he doesn't drop it naturally. I'm sorry if I have to kill you. Let's kill him. Let's see. Holy, he is strong. I guess he definitely has a pretty strong shell. Okay, he didn't drop it. That was kind of sad. I just basically killed him for no reason. So, uh, I was just looking at, on the actual, uh, mod page, and it says it's supposed to drop Scoot. Uh, so let's just see. Oh, there it is. All right. Armadillo Scoot. Okay, cool. And then, yeah, that's supposed to be the dog armor beside it. Now, the person did say there is no actual armor texture yet. So if we get a dog here, actually, we might have to tame it as well. So I'll give this dog a bone until it's tamed. And then uh, here, we'll try. I'll grab the armor. We'll throw it on. How does it work? It doesn't seem to work. Uh, I'm going to try it in survival. No. Okay. Um, yeah. So this is the dog armor. It's supposed to work, but it doesn't yet. And uh, yeah, we're just kind of getting an idea for everything. But I guess it's going to make your dog obviously a little bit stronger. And then here's the scoot that the armadillo will drop. All right. Here we are on the stony shores. And there is someone behind me I want you guys to meet. Pango! Yeah, that's right. Look at that boy. <laughs> that is so awesome. Uh, the penguin is definitely interesting looking. Those feet be so skinny. Look at those little feet. Honestly, it's so cool looking. But they did a really good job on the texturing on this one. So yeah, the penguin does spawn on the stony shores, apparently. Um, I'm going to guess it'd be more of an arctic biome, though, because, uh, yeah, we're in the desert with stony shore biome. Uh, but really, really cool. I like seeing the penguin in person, and uh, it would be neat to see. Very tall mob. I, I'd hope it'd be a little bit smaller. It's almost the same size as me. Um, yeah, you can't actually hit this one, it doesn't seem like. They are god mode right now, okay? Uh, but this is what we all came for. We want to see how this boy... Damn, look at that village. 
we want to see how this boy actually works so let's get ourselves a boat i'm gonna grab a cherry boat and uh throw it down here and uh let's throw our penguin here please tell me these are functionable yes okay he's in the boat let's go okay i think this is faster uh it feels faster i don't know if this is faster or not this seems like the same speed um maybe the functionality of the penguin doesn't actually work uh but yeah i was hoping it did but it doesn't really seem like it is working now on the upside of things here they may not work but apparently if you throw salmon at them they will breed a baby Oh, shoot. We got a baby. Okay, it's working. God damn, the baby's so cute. Okay, the baby is pretty cute, I must admit. And that's going to be all for today, my dudes. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace out, my dudes.